Hi. Today we're going to talk about the use of memos in SAGE 100. We're going to talk about how we can control when they pop up and even how to add attachments to various memos. We're going to start today with accounts receivable customer memos. And you'll see as we select certain customers, if they have a memo that's defined to pop up, you'll see that pop up immediately when you access that customer. However, we want to control when this pops up and not necessarily make it show up every time we access the customer. So what we can do is we'll go up to the little steno pad button, which is our memo access, and we can use existing memos and edit those, or if we want to create a new memo, we'll just go ahead and set one up. One of the key things is that we need to identify that this memo needs to always auto display. And you'll note, as soon as we select Always, the Settings button up here in the upper right-hand corner has highlighted, which means that we can now customize those settings and when we want these things to pop up. So we'll put some text in our memo. We can put whatever we would like. And now we're going to go up to the Settings button. We're going to save the brand new memo. And we're going to look at the options that we have when we want this particular memo to appear. And depending on the type of the memo, it might be important that this shows up during cash receipts entry or during customer maintenance and customer inquiry. Maybe we want it to show up during order entry or in our invoice data entry functionality. So we can just simply pick and choose which of these items where we want this memo to appear. We'll go ahead and say OK. And you'll notice there's a flag here that says the auto display settings have been overridden. We can go ahead and accept this, and we can exit. And then if we go out and reselect that customer, we're going to see one of the memos pop. And our new memo that we've just created will also pop at the time of customer inquiry or customer maintenance based on those settings. Some other things that we can do with our memos is to actually attach documents to these memos. I'm going to go ahead and reuse the existing memo that we just created. And we're going to go to the attachment here. And we're going to go pick the folder where we want the attachment to come from. So I'm just going to go out and grab a, a picture here. And you can see, once we have the file defined, we'll be able to preview it. And there is the attachment. We can attach documents. We can attach drawings. Anything that is stored electronically can be attached here. So again, if we go out and we select our customer and we get our memos to pop up, we'll notice that we have a new attachment here that we can view and actually take a look at what is correlated with that particular customer. So this is how we can save attachments with memos, and we can customize memo pop-ups when they occur.